All right, I am gonna talk about why taller thin windows are better. Um, so let's talk about thin. Thin is used during preemptive. It is used during um, to scan for Bastion, E-Ray, and most commonly used for buried treasures. Um, the reason thin is good is because having less on your screen makes it very easy to find out what's on your, basically like when you're getting the spike or like when you're rendering a certain thing. Uh, with e-count it's nice because it's like rta it doesn't really have like a huge benefit really besides i guess like getting more up and down is probably better more often um for preemptive it's nice because having that thinner view can sometimes help with culling and also can sometimes help with avoiding loading entities which is a pretty big issue um and for mapless we use it because it allows us to get a really accurate reading on which chunk we're getting the spike from um, like when you're going over the chunk border um it's kind of difficult to tell exactly where you are, but when you use thin, not only can you run in a straight line towards the very treasure, um, but having less rendered on your screen makes the spike a little bit like easier to um, to realize and kind of just simplifies it a bit. Um, it's probably something I'm missing or not really thinking about. But anyways, that's not too important. The important thing is that a lot of people use this window. So I'm using 280 by 750. Um, I know a lot of people use 350 by 750, but in general, a lot of people are using these shorter thin windows. Um, I think there's a bit of a misconception at what making your thin window short does. Um, so I want you to look at my screen, right, at the top and the bottom. So you'll see at the bottom of my screen, and I'm on no thin res, right? Um, I have this tiny line of sand, barely on, right? It's like under my hotbar. Um, now when I go to this thin res, you'll notice it's still there. Um, you'll actually notice it takes up more of the screen proportionately. Uh, and this is kind of the interesting thing about how making your res shorter affects your screen. Um, Basically, Minecraft forces, depending on your FOV, what you can see from top to bottom, right? And when you use thin, you're cutting off the sides. Um, the problem is, like, if you're making your window shorter, the idea is to cut off more up and down, but it doesn't actually do that. Only your FOV can change that. Uh, the only thing that thin changes is basically what you're seeing left and right. And that's kind of the same idea with wide, right? Wide, we're not seeing more or less or anything differently. We're just allowing more left to right. So top to bottom is basically guaranteed by just your FOV. Your resolution does not change it. Um, now let's talk about why 750 is bad. So I only look at my screen when I'm using 750 height and look at what I can see. I have this tree here. You can see I see this birch tree right over here. I see all the way over there. Um, if you're looking where my mouse is, is right like over the birch tree, you'll notice it's actually moving things that are further right closer to the left, right? Now let's take a look what happens when I change my resize script to use 280 by 1000, which is what I was on before. You'll notice I can't see this birch tree. You'll also notice I see less of this tree, right? I can't even see this corner that I was seeing before. Again, the reason for this is that the only thing we can manipulate is from that left to right. But when you make the window shorter, um, it changes that, that ratio, basically, right? It makes it so, you know, 350 or 750 is like a little bit more than two times 350, right? If you were using both. So even though we are, even though we're still using the same like height or the same like thinness, we're able to see more because when we squish this window down in order to have this exact same pixels or these exact same things rendered, we have to display more. And you notice here that like, again, I still see the sand. I'm see I have the exact same top to bottom, but what happens here is that I can see way less, right? There's way less on my screen. And this is the nice thing for thin, right? is that when you are on like a res that works for you, right? I can see my entities. I can see my entire pie chart and the values, but I'm still doing the thing that Thin wants to do, which is just to limit what you're rendering on your screen. And this is really important. Um, could there be other reasons for a smaller window? Uh, I guess. I don't want to say it's like never good, um, but what it seems like to me is that the reasons we use Thin, making your window shorter is actually doing the opposite of what people are trying to achieve which is like making the scan more accurate. It actually makes it less accurate and a little bit harder to use, I would say. Um, but yeah, if you if you think that it's okay to like have more rendered, I think that's fine. Um, maybe it affects something else. Again, I would love to like see the comments. I'm, I was gonna just make this to explain it to someone, but I think it might be a good thing to publish and talk about because I did not know about this until Jude, my good friend Jude, lovely Jude, check her out. Thank you for your help. My last portal thing I uploaded was also made by her and I. Um, but she explained that to me, and I, I I don't think I ever really put two and two together. Because um, I personally was on tall, thin res because I just thought it was better. I thought it made more sense. I thought it was more visibility. I didn't realize 
how that relationship between FOV and height was such like a salt solidified thing that your res couldn't change. Uh, but yeah, maybe this will give you guys some more information. I'm not telling, like, I don't want to say like, don't use thin. It's probably a reason you could use it. Um, but if you're using it to effectively load in less top to bottom, just know that you cannot do that with thin. You can only do that with your FOV. All right. Bye.